here we have for you a 2005 Lexus LX470. It's done just 99,500 kilometres from new, and this car is in very good condition. It's a 2005 model, so it came with a whole lot of upgrades over the previous model, including a reverse camera, a new dash, they've got a wood grain steering wheel, along with a number of other features, including Bluetooth. These cars are very similar to a Sahara, a Land Cruiser Sahara. Uh, they're regarded as one of the most reliable cars on the road. You'll see a few online with 300 and 400,000 kilometres still going strong. Basically, it's just a better Sahara and it's badge Lexus LX470. The Lexus came with much softer leather. A wood grain steering wheel, Bluetooth, navigation, reverse camera, electric, very back windows, rear air conditioning as standard along with many other features. It's got a Lexus tow bar package and it can tow up to three and a half tonnes. Another feature which came only on the Lexus and as an option on the Sahara was the adjustable hydraulic suspension. So you can basically move the car up and down by about a foot which is very good if you're doing off-road work or if you're loading up the car with people or your family you can simply press a button and it drops down to this level here. At the moment it's on the low setting. It's black with cream interior and it just looks absolutely stunning. I've actually had a couple of these and I've still got one which is a 2005 model as well. Mine's done 200,000 kilometres and it's driving absolutely perfectly as you would expect from a Lexus. You can get the family around in comfort, whether it's to go to the snow, if you want to tow something, a caravan, a boat, whatever it may be, these do everything. They're a V8 petrol. They're very smooth. Look, in terms of fuel consumption, they do use more fuel than a, than a diesel, obviously. Um, for me personally, on the freeway, I can get mine down to about 10.7 or 11 litres per 100 k's and around town it's anywhere from sort of 15 to 20 litres per 100 k's which isn't too bad on a car which is nearly three tonnes with a powerful V8 engine. The update also came with a five-speed gearbox and a system called A-Track. So instead of having diff locks it puts power to the wheels with grip basically. They've got a stunning interior. There was a review you may find it online, done in the UK, on the LX470 versus a Range Rover Vogue. And they actually suggest that the interior of the Lexus was of better quality than the Range Rover, which was certainly a surprise to me. The LX470 was also one of the first cars or four-wheel drives in the world to have Xenon high beams, which is the high discharge HID lights. We'll start it up, I'll show you the suspension, I'll put it up high. Put the key in, start it up. It just starts perfectly. It's asking me to put my seatbelt on. So you can see your navigation, reverse camera. It's great if you're towing, if you're backing this up to a trailer, it makes it very easy. In some ways it actually makes you look like a professional if you don't tell anyone you've got a reverse camera. This is your diff lock. So if you press that, it locks your centre differential. So there it is there. You've also got low range. It has five gears in high range and four gears in low range. You've also got your second start here. Second start is if you're driving on sand, and if you put your foot on the accelerator, it is a V8. If it's taking off in first gear, it can spin the wheels and get your bogs. So you press start in second, it will start in second gear. 
You also have four settings for the suspension. You can have it on sport or comfort. So the car's nice and soft, which is also good for off-road. I just leave mine on normal. So I'll put the suspension up. I'll press this. You see how it's flashing up there. If you open a door, the car will stop going up for safety reasons. You can also see your memory seats there. Right, so I'll just close the door. And you can see the car going up. Unlike Range Rovers, it's a very reliable system. Range Rovers run on an air system, whereas Lexus run on a hydraulic system. And in fact, I've had two LX470s. The last one I had, I sold with 460,000 kilometres and I never had to do anything with the suspension. It was just normal servicing. So that's up nice and high now to give you some great clearance off-road. So if you're looking for a family four-wheel drive, especially if you've been looking for an LX470, you're really going to have trouble finding one with under 150,000 kilometres. This has only done 99,000 kilometres and has a very, very good service history to it with every service done at a Lexus dealer except just the most recent two which were done by specialists in the eastern suburbs. Furthermore, this car has not been off-road and uh, which is great obviously if you want to take it off road that's fine but it's just nice to buy a car where you know it hasn't been driving through dams or on the beach or whatever it may be and just finally think from here you can get your best the best angle in terms of the suspension thank you so much for watching my name is philip tarrant and this is the old timer center in marrickville we specialize in european cars we have a number of suvs available Thank you so much for watching and we look